Hey everyone. So earlier on this week, I saw this post about, or a post on Reddit under our Android the subreddit. It was about Gboard. It's I guess some update to Google's keyboard application, and it's supposed to add a lot of cool stuff. So I, I saw this post on Reddit, right? And it seemed very interesting to me because I'm all about that kind of stuff. So since I saw it. And, you know, I downloaded it, and I've messed with it a little bit. So I figured that I would do a little bit of a review on that. Uh, by the way, here's the post, or the the thread, I think it's called, right here. So, you know, uh, I'm going to upvote that. There we go. So, yeah, um, I found it very, very interesting. Kind of cool, I guess. I know it sounds like a key. I, I know... Like, I'm, I'm talking about a keyboard here, right? Like a keyboard application for your phone. But it, it is pretty cool. And I will, I promise you, I'll show you, I'll show you. And it, it is really cool, it's pretty cool. So, I, I want to do something every week that relates to Reddit in some way or another. So, this does, and it should be kind of a quick thing, since I don't have a whole lot of time tonight. I'm on my computer right now, and I'm going to jump over to my phone to show you guys application all right everyone so I am back actually on my Nexus 6 here to show you a little bit about uh, this new keyboard thing I'm using Google Allo and I will be using Google Assistant to demonstrate it so I do not text to any actual people all right so it pretty much looks the same when you first uh, have it open here it's this keyboard right it's it's the keyboard right here, just the normal keyboard. Uh, pretty much looks the same, but if you do look in the upper left-hand corner of the keyboard, keyboard, you will see a little arrow, and this is where it, everything gets interesting here. You click the arrow, and it gives you these new options. So, let's just go left to right here. So the first option is a search option, and if we touch that, it brings up this really cool Google search menu with some quick access things right there. So I could search, let's see, this works for almost anything. So let me think of a restaurant near me. Marina's, Marina's Pizza. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. All right, so we can see the restaurant right here uh, pops up and you know gives us some quick options down at the bottom here. If we need to find other stuff. And I can click share here, and it gives, you know, it, it'll put automatically paste everything in here, the phone number, address, name, um, and a link to it on Google Maps. So that's really nice. So I can send this over here just to show how it appears here. All right. I, Google Assistant actually sent me back a little thing here, but so... Yeah, this is it sends out fine. You can call straight from here or you could go right to the Google Maps page for it. And I hope it didn't show my address. I'll look back. If it did, I'll blur it out, but don't worry. So, yeah. And uh it's really cool. You can do that for all kinds of stuff. You could do that for weather, uh stocks, I think. Almost anything, really, you can search on Google, you can do that for. To some extent. And it's really kind of cool because you can just search for anything, like, inside of your keyboard. Like, who is Bill Gates? I hope this works. I never tried this before. All right, so, you know, brings up a little card about Bill Gates. I could share that right here. And it actually will give a link. It'll say, like, who he is. It's, he's an entrepreneur. And it will give a link to... Uh, the Google search result that I just had about it so that is really cool and you know Google searches it for me again but you know just to show what it looks like so yeah that that is really interesting alright so then we have a little palette here which this is I'm assuming to get to the themes this is just to change the themes of the keyboard this has been here but it just allows easier access for it so you can mess around change the colors and some options to theme your keyboard how you want it I guess, and then, okay, this is really cool. The next, the third option here, it is one-handed mode. So if you have, like, a big phone or whatever, uh, I could tap on that, right? Because I have a Nexus 6. I'm using this on a Nexus 6. So, you know, it's a very 
very big screen, right? And it's easier to type if you have everything moved over to the side of the phone. And then of course, I can move it to the other side if I was right-handed, which I'm not. I'm left-handed, so it's more useful for me to type with my left thumb. And then I can expand it like that. And then you have access to the settings right here, Google Keyboard Settings or Gboard Settings, whatever you want to call it. All right, so then there's one major feature, one new major feature, and that is under the, towards the bottom left, the little smiley face, which is, we'll bring up a new emoji interface kind of thing. So now, uh, you know, there's tons of emojis, right, throughout all of here. So you can search for ones, let's say tree, you got tree, and, you know, trees, I can send a tree to Google Assistant. That's pretty impressive. It, send, it sends back a bunch. It says, now it's a forest. Okay, thumbs up on that, Google. That is good. Google Assistant is awesome, I tell you. All right, so you can do that. And then the next big thing is GIF right here. Though There's three options in the bottom center of the keyboard. So one for these kind of emojis, one for these kind of emojis, and one for GIFs. And this is amazing right here. So it gives me recently used GIFs. I have a lot of... Um, stuff about steam on here and yeah, i sent those off a while ago yes that's you know <laughs> and it gives you some options down here just for you know mic drop so you can tap on that it gives you, gives you some mic drop gifts some thank you gifts i said gifts oh geez gifts gifts not gifts all right cheers sorry you know these are really cool so um Let's try something else. Let's search. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's search. Robbie. Rotten. And here you go. You have pictures of or gifts of Robbie Rotten. Oh my goodness. Don't you love the internet, people? Don't you love the internet? So let's let's send this. Once you tap it, you'll get this little thing and you can send it. So I will go send this to Google Assistant. It's sent. Yeah, apparently Google has no idea what to do with GIFs. Although you can send them, though. You can send them, but it has no idea what to do with it. It says yet. So. Ooh, I should have did that. Wait, I'll send back a, a crying face here. Yep, and it's sad, too. It agrees. All right, so that that that's really it when it comes to Google Assistant. I mean, the Google Keyboard or the Gboard. So yeah, it's it's a pretty convenient little thing. Uh, mainly the same, but five times better. So yeah, it, it's very interesting, and it's is live on the Google Play Store. You might have to update it manually. It might not automatically update. So yeah, you just go to the Google Play Store, search Gboard, and it'll be right there. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I shouldn't have to show you. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That will be all. Make sure to check out my other videos if you want. Give this one a like if you liked it, I suppose. And yeah, that is it. And I will see you guys in the next one.